Hey everyone, Pushing Up Roses here. Welcome back to my art channel. And today I am just going to be painting some light switch covers. I had some leftover paint from a rainbow painting I did, like a lot of leftover paint. In fact, this is not even the only thing I made. I had a lot left over and I had bought these just from either Home Depot or Menards for maybe 50 cents. They're kind of on the cheaper side with the intention of pouring paint on them. So that is what I'm doing today. I was just really in the mood for some really bright colors. I think everything is really hard for people right now. And usually my paintings and palettes are on the darker, kind of more visceral side, but I've been in the mood for rainbow colors, really bright, distinct, colors and patterns. So I went with the ring pour. It's a traveling ring pour. As you can see, I'm going up and down the light switch. I'm using my five slot cup that I got on Etsy. Uh, people have been asking me where I got it and I will go ahead and put the uh, link in the description. But yeah, I was shocked at how this turned out. I was inspired to do this by another YouTube channel called Mixed Media Girl, and she does pouring on a lot of different household items like vases, switches, records, just a lot of different things. And I felt very inspired to do that. So that's why I'm doing this today. And like I said, I had a ton of leftover paint. And so if you're an artist and you have leftover paint, maybe you can decorate a you know common household item and get something really cool. Uh, something I was really amazed by was the fact that the paint really stayed on the outlet. Now, the paint is a little thicker. It kind of thickened up uh, since I was doing another painting prior to this. So the paint did thicken up a little bit. As you can see, it's moving really, really slowly. So, um, but I think because the paint was thicker and moving slowly, you know, they, they do have rounded edges, these outlets, what covers do. But it stayed, the paint stayed on there really, really nicely. So I was really, really excited about that. So I am going to go ahead and let you guys watch as I tilt these light switch covers. Enjoy. Okay, there we go. So after I was done with this, I did kind of clean up the edges with a palette knife. I just kind of went along the underside of the edges and just cleaned them up a little bit, removed any drips. I didn't want drips kind of drying from the, th oh, I decided to tilt again, okay. Yeah, all right, Sarah, go go ahead, I'll wait. I'm me, I I'm Sarah, by the way, if that, wasn't <laughs> if that wasn't apparent. I'm never happy with my tilts. Oh, sorry about my head, my head is, definitely in the way. I just gotta, gotta make sure to get it perfect. I'm a perfectionist like that. Okay. So yeah, like I said, I did edit the edges and man, I just love it. I think it turned out so cool. I just think it's great. I can't wait to pour paint on everything in my house. It's gonna rock. I was so happy with this. And you know, I think it's really, re where am I going? Where am I going in this video? Whatever, I'm going to do something else. I think it's really important that during this time, if you're isolated, if you're self-quarantined, I think it's still important that we have our outlets, our artistic, creative outlets. I think it's important that we do them. I don't plan on selling these. Well, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe I will for like five bucks each, but I just did this for fun. I wanted this to be a fun little thing just to put on my channel because I think we all could use some cheering up right now, some bright colors, some rainbows. Here's your close up. Ah, oh, ah, oh, it looks so cool, doesn't it? Oh, it looks amazing when it's kind of wet and slick like that. It looks shiny. When they're fully dry, I'll go ahead and, and varnish them. So yeah, that's today's craft. Thank you for watching. Please take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one.